This kitten was still too small to understand what was happening. He didn't run after people or cry for help. The little one proudly raised his tail and tried to cross the road. In a few seconds, her walk could have ended up in a ditch, and we would never have been able to find her traces. It just so happened that at that moment, Masha and I were driving by. We were on our way home to Masha, having stopped by a store to buy some treats. Today we were planning to ceremoniously see Masha off to a new city and a new life. Suddenly a shadow darted in front of the car. Who's that? A kitten? Look, such a tiny thing. What's going on? Can't you even leave like a human? What should we do? What can we do? Hit the brakes. As soon as Masha slowed down, I opened the doors and grabbed the kitten by the scruff on the go. After dragging the little one into the car, I closed the doors, and Masha accelerated, merging into the traffic flow. On the way, we couldn't decide whether to laugh or cry. We were almost near the village where Masha's house was, but still couldn't figure out what to do. There were no shops in the village, Masha had already packed her things and was supposed to leave for Kaliningrad in a few days, so there was no food left at her house. What to do? We bought pizza, we can pick out some sausage for the little one from it. Masha's house was already fully prepared for departure. Half of her things were on their way to Kaliningrad, the rest were packed in boxes. Even the doors in the house had been removed, so we couldn't figure out where to put the tiny kitten so she wouldn't run away. The only suitable place turned out to be the sideboard. We made a makeshift tray filled with sand, found a cloth, picked out sausage from the pizza, and even managed to find some milk. The little one sat in the sideboard until midnight, looking at us through the glass, trying to understand where she ended up and why. She seemed to peacefully cross the road, not bothering anyone, and then suddenly she was grabbed, brought to an unknown place, and put in a display case. We have a rule with the girls. Whoever notices a stray animal takes care of it, but convincing Masha to decide what to do with the tiny kitten a day before she had to travel a thousand kilometers with two dogs, and then settle in a rental apartment, I couldn't do. The little one stayed with me, 